Now, in this lecture, we're going to start working with JWT. In the previous lectures, we understand the basic understanding of JWT. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can use JWT in your React project. So I'm going to use JWT here in my backend server to authorize the user. As you know, using email and password, we authenticate the user. But using JWT, we're going to authorize the user. So let me first install the module called JWT token inside my application. So I'm going to open my terminal, open a new terminal and enter into my Mon application. Here I'm going to say npm i for install and then I'm going to install a module called json web token and then I'm going to install this module as dev dependency. So I'm going to specify here hyphen capital D. So this will just install this module as dev dependency inside my project. So once you install the json web token inside your application, let me show you how you can use it. Let me first clear the screen, close this terminal. As you can see here, I'm going to open my controller.js file and inside that, I'm going to first require the JWT module. So at the top, let's create a constant variable JWT and then require a module called JSON Web Token. Now there are two types of authorization. First is a token based authentication and second is a session based authentication. Using session based authentication, we create a session and authenticate the user with a session variable. But using token based authentication, we use JWT to authorize the user. Let me show you how you can authorize the user using token based authentication. So I'm going to first require the JSON web token module inside my controller. And just down here, inside my login controller, just down here, here I'm going to create a new token. Using that token, I'm going to authorize the user. I'm going to store that token inside the client browser instead of creating a new session variable for that. So simply, I'm going to use here JWT, then call a method of it, which is sign. I'm going to first specify the payload value. I'm going to specify my user ID as a payload to this assign method. So as a first parameter, I'm going to pass here an object, then specify here ID, and then I'm going to specify here user dot underscore ID. I'm going to specify the MongoDB unique ID to this payload. Sign method is going to use this ID to create a token. Just for that, I'm going to specify the secret key. Now the secret key may be anything. Let's say if I create here a string with the name key, then this is also a valid secret key. But when working with application, you can store a very simple secret key. So what I'm going to do is instead of creating this simple secret key inside my application, I'm going to just use a tool called random password generator and specify that password here. So I'm going to open my browser and here I'm going to search for random password generator. And from this website, strong password generator, I'm going to first specify the password length, which is going to be 50 characters. So I'm going to specify here 50. And then I'm going to leave everything as it is and click on this generate password. This will just generate a new password. So you just need to copy that and then specify that password right here as a secret key. So what I'm going to do is instead of specifying that password here, I'm going to create a variable inside this config.env file. Right here, I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to name that variable JWT and then I'm going to specify here equal to sign and paste that password just like this. Just for that, I'm going to back to the controller and here instead of this key, I can just simply specify here process.env dot and then I'm going to specify my JWT secret variable just like this. This statement is going to create a new token and return that. So let's store that token inside a variable. I'm going to say here constant token is equal to. Let me first create here a command and say create JWT token. Now you can notice how easy it is to create a token inside JWT. You need to specify here any payload data. Right now I'm using the user ID. If you want, you can specify here username, email or password. Then I'm going to specify my secret key. Secret key may be anything. You can specify any string inside this second parameter. To make this key strong, I'm going to use the random password generator tool. Now once the JWT create a token, I'm going to pass that token with this response. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to specify token just like this. I'm going to just create a key token and specify this token value to that key. And now let me back to my postman testing tool. So inside my postman testing tool, I'm going to select the post request and I'm going to specify the URL API login. I'm going to make a post request on my login endpoint. Then I'm going to specify the body here 
inside that I have the valid credential just like that when I click on the send button you can notice you're going to have your authentication token of JWT now whenever you make a request to your server you need to pass this token with it I'm going to show you how you can do that in the future lectures once you get your authorized token in the next lecture I'm going to show you how you can pass this token in a middleware so every request you make to the API is authenticated